On November 3rd, 2020, voters in Ferris ISD will have an opportunity to decide on a $12 million bond program. What is a school bond? A school bond is like a home mortgage. Districts must borrow the money for capital projects, including construction, renovation, and other improvements. Voters give the district permission to take out a loan and pay it back over an extended period of time. Bonds cannot be used for salaries or operating costs, such as utility bills, supplies, building maintenance, fuel, or insurance. Why was a bond election called? Ferris ISD School Board and Administration called a bond election on November 3, 2020. Together, the board and administration worked to develop this bond package, reviewing the district's facilities, equipment, and educational spaces. What does the bond include? The bond will include two propositions. Proposition 1 is for $8 million. This includes classroom additions to the Junior High School and Longino Elementary School, a bus barn and maintenance facility with classroom space for small engine repair and diesel mechanic construction. Lastly, there will be safety and security improvements district-wide. Proposition 2 is for $4 million. This includes a multi-purpose athletics practice facility and weight room. How does this impact me? If the bond passes, this measure would extend the length of time over which the current INS debt is to be paid. However, the tax rate will not increase. Why does the ballot read, this is a property tax increase, on both propositions if the district is not raising the tax rate? The Texas Legislature passed a law in 2019 that requires this phrase to be included on every bond election ballot. As such, we have included the phrase to comply with the law, since there will be new bonds sold. However, the district does not project any increase to the tax rate as a result of this bond proposal. The district fully expects to keep the debt service tax rate at or below current year levy. How can this bond proposal be accomplished without a tax rate increase? There are several factors coming together that contribute to the district being able to support this bond without raising the tax rate. Interest rates are at historic lows, below 3%, which makes interest payments on bond principal much less than past bonds with higher interest rates. The district is able to use flexibility built into our existing debt profile to level out annual payments, thus allowing us to keep the tax rate flat. Additionally, much of our existing debt is structured in callable bond series that will permit us to refinance those old bonds at specific points along the 20-year span at reduced interest rates. The current value of existing property in the district continues to increase steadily over time based on Ellis County Appraisal District valuations, thus permitting the district to generate additional debt service revenue without raising the tax rate. The additional value of new home construction in the district in the next 24 to 48 months is projected to add approximately $220 million to the tax base for the Ferris City Manager's Office. It's important to note that under state law, the dollar amount of school taxes imposed on the resident's homestead of a person 65 years of age or older cannot be increased above the amount paid in the first year after the person turned 65 or became disabled, regardless of changes in tax rate or property value, unless there are new improvements to the homestead that increase the value of the home. You must apply for this exemption. Become an informed voter. Go to the Ferris ISD Bond website for more information at ferrisisdbond.com. Early voting begins October 13th and continues through October 30th. Be sure to check out the Bond website to find your voting locations and times for both early voting and election day.